Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Boost Flow, Boost Box Setup for Windows 11, I'm going to show you how you can get your Boost Box Setup for use with Boost Flow inside of Windows 11. Instructions for this process are helpfully available for download on our website. To find them, I'm going to first navigate to EclipseCat.com, and once I'm there, I'm going to hover over Support, Downloads, and then go to Utilities and more. If I scroll down to the bottom of the list, there are four BoostBox files, and two of them are for Boost and Boost Flow. I'm going to click on the Windows 11 file, and I'll follow along the instructions. The first thing I'm going to want to do is plug in the power cord to my boost box and insert it into wall power. Next, I'll plug in the crossover cable that was included with the purchase into the LAN port on the boost box and then into the LAN port on my computer. If your computer doesn't have a LAN port, you can buy a USB adapter. Once both cables have been plugged in, I'm going to hit the power button to turn my boost box on. Once the boost box is on, I'm going to need to go into the Windows network settings. And there are a couple ways to do that. In the document, I've outlined a long way. However, in this video, I'm going to show you a shortcut that exists in Windows 11. I'm going to click the Start button. I'll type in Network Connections, and I'll select View Network Connections. In this window, I want to identify my LAN port. You see that the first one is identified as a Bluetooth device, so I know that's not it. The last one is also identified as a Wi-Fi device. And here I have my Ethernet device. So this is the one that's connected to my boost box. Once I've identified my Ethernet adapter, I'm going to double click. Next, I'll click Properties. And moving down in the document, I'm going to double click on Internet Protocol version 4. The first step here, according to the PDF, is to choose Use the following IP address and then type in this specified IP address. So I'm going to select use the following IP address and I'll type 192.168.0 and then I'll hit the right arrow key to get to the next field and type a 2. Next, it says press tab to autofill the subnet mask field, which is the next field. So I'll press tab and it does indeed fill automatically with the same information that's specified in the document. Last, I'm going to type the default gateway. So I'll press tab once more to get there, and I'll type 192.168.0, and then right arrow over once more, and type 1. Once I have this set up, I can press OK, and if I get a prompt when changing this option, hit yes, then press OK, and close. Once this is set up, the Windows portion of the BoostBox setup is complete, and we can move on to the Eclipse settings. I'm going to open up Eclipse 11. Once I'm in Eclipse 11, I'm going to go to my User Settings, to the Translate tab, and I'll click on the Boost button. If you're going to use your BoostBox, whether you're using Boost or Boost Flow, you need to make sure that you set these settings. For this example, I'm going to assume that I'm going to use both Boost as well as Boost Flow. And since I'm using a boost box, that means that I'm using Speechmatics instead of Google Speech. Speechmatics and the boost box mean that I don't need internet in order to use Boost or Boost Flow the way that I would if I was using Google Speech. So I'm going to make sure that the engine is set to Speechmatics to use my boost box. Next, I'll click Setup and then Speechmatics at the bottom. Here, I'll select the IP address. And referring back to the documentation, I see that it tells me to set the IP address to the WebSocket that we previously provided. So that's WebSocket 192.168.0.1. So I'm going to go into Eclipse and I'll make sure that it says WS colon slash slash 192.168.0.1. And I'll press OK, 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 and OK. And once you've done that, then your boost box is set up and ready to use for boost and boost flow. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question, anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. 
Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. And this will also help other people like you find our videos. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.